right, so um, this is Maria from Creative Potpourri, and I'm going to do kind of an unboxing from Thread Up. I watch people who get boxes from Thread Up, Thread Up, Thread Up, I can say it, Thread Up. They get boxes from Thread Up all the time, and it looks so pretty. They open this one box and everything is in there and it's nice and covered in paper and I just thought you know what I need some new clothes so I'm gonna give it a try um, so I did um, I don't mind buying used I, mean, I kind of would rather buy used sometimes um, so I was really looking forward to it I was always also looking forward to getting a very pretty box instead I got um, this you know, paper container, and then two boxes. And they all came at different times. Um, this one was shipped from Illinois. This one came first. And then like two days later, I got one from Pennsylvania. And then this one came another couple of days later, and this one came from Georgia. I live in Indiana. So, um, that kind of just tells you that how far away everything got shipped from, but I'm just, I was just kind of like, well, I just want one box and I want it to look super pretty just like everybody else. But, um, you know, I want to feel good about my purchases. This isn't Amazon. This is, you know, supposed to be higher end. Well, I don't know. Not higher end. I'm not sure. Well, I mean, I do have high-end clothes. I didn't buy anything high-end. Maybe if I bought anything high-end, then it would have been. I bought a bunch of t-shirts. So I'm going to open it all up, and we'll see how it looks. Maybe the inside looks better. So I have not opened any of these. So here we go. We'll start with this um, <clears throat> envelope one. It says, pushing the envelope on second hand since 2009. So I assume that is one of their slogans. Uh, I like second hand. Um, I have actually considered selling with ThreadUp. I looked into it a while ago. They charge a considerable, I mean, they charge to send the, they will send you a bag. They will, you know, they have some criteria and I'm fine with criteria. They charge you $6 to send it back. Um, that comes off of your commission plus whatever, you know, I can't even remember what the structure was. So um, I have opted, I do sell um, some of my old clothing um, and I just use a local secondhand store. We have a really great local one here in town. It does great. Um, it is constantly busy. They sell homewares. They sell clothes. Um, actually, these curtains came from there, which I love. And they were, um, I think, originally from, I think, their World Market. Um, they were in great condition. Um, but let's look at some clothes. So, oh, it does come all nice and in the... Um, nicely wrapped um, with my receipts and everything. I should really flip this up so that you can see. So we can look down. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to figure that out and then we'll look at everything. Stop! So, sealed deals since 2009. And then it's got the hashtag secondhand first. So, I'm just go ahead and open it up. Such pretty paper. I'm try and use some of it again somehow. Maybe in a craft. Hmm, we'll have to see. So, here is just a fun little long sleeve. I mean, it's three quarter length. Um, t shirt. I bought all these shirts when um, summer was, it seemed like summer was around the corner, and now it's not. So, <laughs> um, this is, the brand is Tusquare. I've never heard of it. Um, Tusquare Collection. 
but it's really looks brand new. This one is just another. It says, "Do what you love." Tour 19, well, 67. Do what you love. And this is by um, Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren, so. This one is just another t-shirt. It says, play by the rules you write. It's really soft. Um, I like it a lot, actually, how soft it is. And it is by Alternative. It's an extra large. It might be a little bit big, but I think it'll look nice. I'm really excited. I like big t-shirts, so that's good. Um, this one is a scoop neck, which isn't really my normal kind of type. Um, and it's got all, but it's look, it's got all these pretty sequins on it. Um, so, I don't know, it's a little bit jazzy. So, that's just kind of fun. It's got a little pocket. I will never use it as a pocket, but, um, yeah, it's by Calvin Klein. So, I guess I did get some higher end items. So, this one looks huge. Um, yeah, I think it's a, another three-quarter length um, t-shirt. It's nice and soft. Um, it's by, I believe, Gap. It's an extra large, so... But I, I think it looks like a much bigger... looks much bigger than an extra large. I mean, look how big that is. Hmm. Okay. I'll have to make some decisions about that one. Let's go on to box number two and see what kind of lovely things are in there. It seemed to have taken so taken so long to get to me. I don't really, I don't really remember what's in here um, or what all I purchased. So let's take a look. See, welcome to the polka dot party. Well, thank you for inviting me <clears throat> and letting me pay for it. <laughs> This one is wrapped just as nicely as the last one with the same little, you know, sealed sealing deal since 2009 sticker. Um, it's just in a slightly different place. But I'm going to try and save the, the paper just like I did with the last one. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but we'll see. So here we go. Let's take a look. This first one... Um, Oh, I remember. This reminds me of the Disney short. I think it's called Paper Airplanes. I don't know. There's just something about it that reminds me of it. I'll put a picture of it in my cards. Um, or I'll put a picture of it up at the thing, at the top. Um, it's got a little Bible verse at the bottom. I think it says, um, all I have to give. I'm sorry, this is all I have to give. And it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. It's a one of the Psalms. Um, it is the maker, somebody I've never heard of, um, was it not, um, not of this world, Jesus. So, I don't know, it's a really neat logo, but I've never, never seen anything by them, I've never heard of them before. Um, but I do like the shirt. Um, it's not quite as white as I would like, I will say that. It's, it is a white t-shirt, I typically stay away from them, but... Definitely a resale white t-shirt. There's no doubt. No doubt about that one. Um, this one, I don't remember purchasing this. It's not my type at all. It's got that solid bar at the bottom. Comes in a little, um, a little bit of a longer sleeve, which I do like. Um, it's just, um, it definitely, it's really thin. It's really pilly. Look at all those pills. Um. It definitely looks like a, a resale shirt. Um, I'm not really happy with the kind of the quality on that one. I don't remember what I paid, but um, yeah, wouldn't be my first choice to have purchased. Oh, this one. I like the colors again. Not my typical colors. I'm really kind of a a vibrant like black, solids black, pink. 
purple, maybe green. So this is definitely very different, different for me. And what is this? This is like, like a penny to weigh down the collar. Um, it's like a, a, I don't remember this one. It's by Clio, um, which I've never heard of, of them, but I don't, I don't know, not my type. And it's got really short sleeves. Um, so I think it's supposed to gather in the front and that penny is like a weight. Um, yeah, that's going to ruin my, my, uh, already failing washer. Um, and here's another black shirt. Oh, this is, this is one. This is the one high-end thing that I thought I'd purchase. Um, I'm really excited about it. It's got see-through shoulders and arms. I always wear a tank top anyway, so this will be lovely. Okay, box number three, or whatever. My thing number three. Ooh, this is pretty. These polka dots are different. Oh, and this, um, I think this paper is different. It looks, it feels more, <coughs> excuse me, more waxy. Um, and there's nowhere near as much as in the other two. This is like one sheet. Um, so, yeah. Look at how glossy it is. Um, it's just the front and back. It's just one big sheet. Oh, um, so here is the first one. These, all these t-shirts are long, which I personally really like. Um, I'm a fan of a long t-shirt. I don't need my t-shirts to be short. So this is um, a San Diego, it just says San Diego, um, you know, the Cali Seas. Uh, I love San Diego. Um, I really wanted to live there after college. Um, so, I don't know. This is, again, by somebody I've never heard of. Um, I'm not even sure. I can't read that right now. Um, it still has its original tag on it. And it was $17.99 originally. So, yeah. Hmm. That's kind of fun. <clears throat> okay, this one is... Um, I don't remember this either. This is by The Limited. It's really... It's very long. It's almost... Like this is a, a short, a short, short dress. Um, something you would wear. Maybe it's something you would wear with um, tights or whatever. Um, it's got this really interesting zipper detail. I kind of like that. I can imagine that's probably why I picked it up. Um, and this is like the best. On Wednesdays, we wear pink from Mean Girls. I mean, how... It's so cute. I don't know who gave that up, but I'm glad I got it. Such a cute. I mean, I really love that movie. So, anyway, uh, moving on <laughs> to this lovely, lovely um, red. And it's a very simple red V-neck. It's long. It's got shorter or longer sleeves, which I really like. Um, I don't know what this brand is, Vienna or something, which I've never heard of. This, I do not remember putting in my cart at all. And I don't know who that is, but look at that. Why in the world do I have that? No, I don't. I did not put that in my cart. There is no, there is no way. No way. I got to look at my receipt. No, crazy hair. Um... I will say I will probably never buy from ThreadUp again. Um, some of the items that are new and good quality have like pills and I will tell you at least half of this is going to a charity store. Well, not half. Um, this is way too big and I like my shirts big but this is this is way too big. So that will go. Um, this just, it looked nice on a mannequin. Not quite my style. 
um, has I'm starting to get a hole here. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's my camera. Um, okay, so that's definitely not like good used. That is bad used. Um, it's also pretty, got a lot of pills on it. It's also like fairly pilly. Maybe it's just the um, kind of fabric it is, but uh, this, yeah, no. Um, this one, which I think is really cute, it's unfortunate that um, the way it drop, the neck drops, has like a penny in a pocket, which I've never seen, but I'm telling you, that's like a penny. Does that look like a penny? <laughs> if I took it out, it's going to ruin my dishwasher. There's a penny in there. I mean... Penny's got to be good for something. Um, they cost more to make than to than the one penny, the one cent it's worth. So that will go to a charity. Um, and then I don't know how this ended up. This just is not my style at all. And it took so long to get here that if I was actually, I don't know. It's almost like a dress. Um, I mean, it's cute. I, I'm not going to say it's not cute. It's definitely got these little zipper details. Um, the back has a zipper detail. I mean, maybe, maybe I'll save it for winter and see. Um, but it is definitely just not. It is definitely just not my style. Um, I don't remember putting it in my cart. Um, and that is definitely true for this last one. No clue how it ended up in my cart and how or why. Yeah, I, I'm, I am flabbergasted because, and it's my own fault. I, I looked at my receipt. It was on my receipt. How it ended up, I don't know. But um, I need have no need for a black scoop neck shirt with, cowboy boots on it. No, I do not. I don't know if I can resell them or they'll just go to charity. Um, but yeah, I am disappointed. Um, I was really hoping that, um, I don't know that this would have been a good experience. It's just unfortunately not, um, it just wasn't, um, which is so sad because I was listening to how Thread Up was started, and um, I, I listened to the podcast. Um, I think it's Guy Raz, how how you made this, or or one of those. And it was really good to listen to her story and how and why she started it. Um, and I love stories like that, but I am I was just disappointed that um, it all came at a time like. It came late and then we were going on, it came and we were going on spring break. And so it got shoved in a closet. You only have 14 days from the day it is delivered to return it. So I can't, I can't return any of these things. It's been more than 14 days. Um, you know, it's probably been, you know, 20. I don't know if you've had a good experience with Thread Up. I would love it if you would link below and or leave a comment below and let me know what you think and how you have enjoyed the process. Um, it's just, I think, just not, not a process for me, maybe. Um, but um, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, enjoyed seeing what somebody else bought, whether or not they liked it. Um, it was just a bunch of t-shirts, but I still wanted to look kind of nice. Um, but I am the one thing I'm super excited about is this. I am really excited about this guy. Because I think it will look nice. Maybe I'll wear it on camera someday. You can't look really a little bit dressy. A little, just a little bit dressy. Just a little bit. Um, and then just some fun t-shirts. So, good sayings. And, yeah. So, um, thanks for stopping by. Leave a comment below and subscribe if you would like. I think I'll put a subscribe thing here. Subscribe. 
Um, leave a comment below. I feel like I should have some song and dance. Who has a really good song and dance? I think Marie from Bits and Clips does. She has good. I love Marie. From, if do you watch, go watch Marie from Bits and Clips because she's pretty entertaining. She's pretty fun. I think if we lived in the same city, maybe we could be friends. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Now I'm just being silly. Okay. I'm done.